For decades, the number of hungry people had been declining. This isn't true anymore. Today, achieving the zero hunger goal by 2030 is becoming more challenging. More than 820 million people still do not have enough to eat. Hunger is increasing in many countries where economic growth is lagging, particularly in middle-income countries. Rising unemployment and declining wages and incomes are challenging people's access to nutritious foods and essential services such as healthcare. Income inequality is rising in many of the countries where hunger is on the rise, making it even more difficult for the poor to cope with economic slowdowns. Conflict and climate change are also driving hunger. Unless greater investments and more targeted efforts are made to address these drivers, we will not meet the goal of ending hunger. The Zero Hunger Goal is not simply to eradicate hunger, but to ensure that all people have access to safe, nutritious and sufficient food and to end all forms of malnutrition. This year's State of Food Security and Nutrition in the World 2019 report goes beyond hunger. For the first time, it provides estimates of the people who face uncertainties about obtaining food, the moderately food insecure. Today, over 2 billion people do not have regular access to safe, nutritious and sufficient food, a problem that affects people not only in low- and middle-income countries, but also in high-income countries. The chances of being food insecure are higher for women than men in every continent, with the largest gap in Latin America. Too many children suffer from low birth weight or stunted growth. At the same time, no region is exempt from the epidemic of overweight and obesity. Overweight and obesity have increased in all regions, particularly among school-aged children and adults. But obesity is not the opposite of hunger. They can actually be linked. There are many reasons for this. First, fresh nutritious foods are often more costly and less available than highly processed foods, high in fats and sugars. Another reason is that the stress of living with uncertain access to food and food restrictions can cause physiological changes that increase the risk of overweight and obesity. And lastly, a malnourished child has a higher risk of obesity later in life. There are other repercussions of malnutrition. The economic costs of malnutrition are staggering. Obesity alone could cost 2 trillion US dollars annually in lost economic productivity and healthcare costs worldwide. And undernutrition would reduce gross domestic product by up to 11% in Africa and Asia. Our food systems are broken, and unless bolder actions are taken soon, humanity is at grave risk of seeing a continued rise in rates of hunger, obesity and diet-related chronic diseases. To fix our food system, we must work together. Our actions must be focused on collaboration, stretching across borders from agriculture, food, health and water, to education, social protection and economic policies. Countries need to integrate food security and nutrition into broader efforts to reduce poverty and gender inequalities. Ending hunger and all forms of malnutrition by 2030 is an immense challenge, but with real political commitment, bolder actions and the right investments, zero hunger is still achievable.